All right, good day, students. As you can see, you are required to make hd the subject of the formula n v equals to the square root of g d in bracket one plus three h divided by d. So the first thing you have to do in order to solve this type of problem is to simplify the bracket. Simplify the bracket. So how do you simplify the terms in the bracket? Find the h LCM. The LCM of 1 and 3 h divided by d is d. So d times 1 will give us d. d divided by d is 1 times 3 h will give us 3 h. So this term is equal to the square root of g d in bracket 3 bracket d plus what 3 h divided by d. So the next thing you have to do is to, once you get to this point, the next thing you have to do is to multiply everything in the bracket with GD. Multiply times in the bracket with GD. So we have the square root of gd in bracket d plus 3d 3h divided by d so if you are multiplying every terms in the bracket what do you have in this case you have the square root of uh, gd squared plus what 3gdh divided by So once you arrive at this point, sorry. So once you arrive at this point, you can replace this with this, replace these terms with the expression. Alright, let's continue. So from here, you have three, sorry, you have what? G D squared plus what? 3g dh divided by d so let's clean here all right so what is the next thing to do the next thing to do is to square both side of the equation square both side of the equation of the equation you do what square both sides of the equation so we have that v this is what we are solving for remember so you are required to make h the subject of the formula so from here square both sides of the equation you have v squared is equals to the square root of g d squared plus what 3g dh divided by d squared it so once you do that you have gd squared plus 3gdh divided by d so what is the next thing the next thing is to clear fraction how do we clear fraction how do we clear fraction Next is to do what? Clear fraction. To clear fraction, you multiply both sides of the equation by D. Multiply equation by what D? This is the equation. So multiply here by D. You multiply here by what D? So you clear fraction. And once you clear fraction, when I have here D remove. Alright, so this is what would mean. Alright, so from here, what the next thing? What is the next thing? The next thing is to uh, since we are trying to make H the subject of the formula, subtract from both sides dh. Subtract from both sides 
of the equation by what by gd squared so you come here you subtract this will be your minus gd squared plus so you come to this side minus gd squared so once you do that here we cancel out what next or what remain so we have what you can rearrange this equation plus minus plus can come first we have dv squared minus what gd squared is equals to 3gdh so you see the next thing you have to do is to divide the equation by 3gd because we are trying to make the h the subject so you divide the equation by 3gd so dividing it what we have divided by 3gd divided by 3gd so in this case this will cancel out to give us h so let's clean here once you divide it what left what is left we now have h to be equals to dv squared minus gd squared divided by 3gd so that is it so the next thing is to uh, simplify simplify you have dv squared divided by 3gd minus gd squared divided by 3gd so from here notice d cancel out we have h to be equal to v squared divided by 3g there are two d's here so you can multiply it because this square the system as d times d so one d here we cancel one and then we have what we have gd divided by 3g so that is it have any question there is g here there is g here so g can cancel out we now have v squared divided by 3g minus d over 3 so that is the value of g g is equals to v squared minus divided by 3g minus d this is d divided by 3 whether you leave it in this form or you find there common LCM which is 3g so 3g divided by 3g will give us 1 1 times v squared will give us v squared minus 3g divided by 3 will give us g g times d will give us gd so that is the value of h as we make it the subject of the formula I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Before you go, please www.manzananews.com slash ebook, buy book in arithmetic pro processes and algebraic processes. They will help you a lot to do work in internal and external examinations, practical books, more than 200 questions, solve with solutions and answers. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.